Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 16 of Vlogmas. It is now Wednesday and today I will be sharing the end of year book tag with you. This is a book tag created by Ariel Bissette and I am very late to this tag. You're actually supposed to do it in the transition from fall to winter, but we're gonna make it work anyways. But before I get into that tag, I did wanna share a few things with you today. First, of course, is my day 16 book gizmo gift. And this one sounds like it rings or has changed or some sort of metal clanking against metal. Okay, so it is a book band with a butterfly on it. That would look like really cool in a Strange the Dreamer book. It might be a moth, not a butterfly, but still Strange the Dreamer vibes for sure. And it's good it was giving me Strange the Dreamer vibes because that is actually the fandom it was supposed to be for. So that worked out perfectly. Next, you might notice some decorations in the background here. These were given to me by Ingrid, who was my book swap partner for my Twitter book swap. Ingrid also gave me The Daughters of Neri and The Library of the Unwritten, two of my most anticipated books of the year. But Ingrid also sent along a nice little goodie bag, and I wanted to share that. So we got a Mad Libs Penguin Classics Edition, some library card coasters, some library cards, these cute little pins. One says, I read banned books. One says, I like big books and I cannot lie. And the third one says, it's lit. Then we got this adorable pin that is a bumblebee theme and it says happy on it. I love this. Finally, we got this decoration here of the bookish garland, but we also got some handmade ornaments. I believe Ingrid made these with clay, handmade, and it's just a yellow book. And then we also got a library card one. It came with a postcard of just a little bookshelf, book nook area. It says, Megan, wishing you the happiest holidays. Apologies for sending two packages. Sadly, we don't have a bookstore near me. Thanks to my job, Bookish always has a library tilt. Hope you love these holiday goodies and excuse the handmade nature of a couple of the presents. Much holidays, Ingrid, random librarian. And I'm going to tag Ingrid's Twitter down below. And thank you so much. It is adorable. I love the handmade items. As you can see, they are prominently on display now. I can't wait to hang these on my Christmas tree when I have one up. Um, yes, we are one week away from Christmas and I do not have a Christmas tree up. But regardless, I also wanted to share the present I got for my boss today. She got me a Christmas themed snowman towel, some chapstick and some Shea Better lotion. And then my workplace secret Santa got me a pound of gummy worms, Cool Ranch Doritos, and Gatorade. And I was like, yes, my snack drawer is now stocked. <laughs> but now to get into the true nature of this video, today I will be starting again the end of year book tag. There are six questions to this book tag, so we are just going to power right on through. The first question is books that you started and need to finish before the end of the year. All of these are series for me, so I'm just going to say what series I've started this year and would love to finish before 2020 is over. I believe I've talked about the first one several times, but that would be the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass. I would love to finish that. I am on Queen of Shadows, and then I have, oh, those are out of order. Then I have Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash left. I would also love to finish the Lunar Chronicles. I actually just started this on Sunday, but I am obsessed. I've already finished Cinder and I'm two hours from finishing Scarlet. So I'm almost done, probably going to finish that tonight and then start Crest tomorrow. And then I'll only have Crest, Winter, Fairest, and Stars Above left. And then I would also love to finish the selection series. I have only read the selection, so I have four books left, but they are pretty small and quick reads. Next is a book that will transition you to the end of the year. This was supposed to be an autumnal book to transition you into winter, but I'm gonna play off this and just kind of go with a book that I feel like is a good end of the year book. And especially for 2020, I feel like The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab is the perfect end to 2020. 
Again, this is the story of Addie the Rue, who made a deal with a devil in order to live forever. She is now not remembered by anyone she meets, and honestly, I think we'd all love to forget 2020. But this is a story about life and death, and goals, and relationships, and all those sorts of things, and I just think it's perfect for the end of the year. Next is a new release you're waiting for. I'm not waiting for any to come out in December anymore. I don't even know if any are coming out next Tuesday. I'm sure there is some, but I am very excited for two in January. First would be Cast in Firelight, which is the story of two rivaling heirs to the throne, and they are in an arranged marriage. So they're the heirs of separate kingdoms, and are in an arranged marriage so it's like an enemies to lovers in a fixed marriage and I'm already in love with that because it's two of my favorite tropes and some secondary like force is coming out to be their new rival so they have to band together that kind of thing and I'm so ready for it. It says it's for fans of An Ember in the Ashes we Hunt the Flame and Wrath of the Dawn, and I haven't read any of those, but I already know I'm going to love all three of them, so I maybe need to get on that. The other book in January that's coming out that I'm very excited for is Lore, which is the story of every seven years, nine Greek gods are sent to the human world to, I guess, pay the price for something that happened in ancient times, and they are tasked to walk the earth and mortals are trying to like kill them or something like that but it's got greek mythology and it almost feels like hercules mixed with once upon a time which i'm so here for three books i would love to read before the end of the year would be Red, White, and Royal Blue, which is a book I've been saying I'm going to read for quite some time. It is a story of a female president, her son, and the Prince of Wales are enemies to lovers. I would also really love to read The Last Olympian, which is the last book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series that I need to read to complete the series, which again could tie into that first question of series you've started and would love to finish before the end of the year. but. We'll just say that's one book I want to finish before the end of the year because I only have one left. And finally, I would love and need to pick up Crown of Bones by A.K. Wilder. Uh, Raise Your Phantom is the tagline, and I don't want to get into the synopsis of this too much because this is an advanced reader copy I was sent for review. So I want to go into this completely unbiased, completely like not sure what's going to happen because I feel like that's the best way to get a genuine review and I'm very excited to read this and review it before January. So thank you to Entangled Teen for sending this to me. The fifth question is books that you might read before the end of the year that could like break your top 10 or shock you. I'm not sure if Addie LaRue would count because I am almost positive it's going to be one of my favorites of the year even though I haven't read it, but maybe American Royals or Red, White, and Royal Blue or one of the Throne of Glass books, or even one of the Learn of Chronicles books. Honestly, the Lunar Chronicles books might already be breaking the top 10 because I never expected to love it as much as I am, and I am just flying through these books. And finally is, do you have any reading plans made for 2021 already? Yes, I <laughs> got a little crazy. I already mapped out, like, my year's TBR and my top books I want to read in 2021 and top series I want to read in 2021 because those are videos I have planned but I've already mapped out what months I'm going to read them in. I'm type A if you can't tell. I also have some secret TBRs I want to include in next year's reading so stay tuned for those. But I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'll say one of the series I would love to read in 2021 is An Ember in the Ashes. But that is all for the tag and really that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am now monetized so if you see ads that means that I'm getting revenue for you guys watching those ads and that is so mind-boggling to me that I have 1500 of you that want to watch my videos and 1,500 of you have watched them for 4,000 hours. That is insane. 
Thank you so much for your support. I really can't do this without you. And I love making videos and reading and sharing. And if you guys have any questions or comments or if there's videos or books that you would love to see, let me know and I would be happy to support you guys like you support me. But thank you again so much for watching today's video and I will check in with you tomorrow for a special announcement going into 2021. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.